Well, New Year's resolutions, they're not just for adults. Kids can get involved, too, in setting some goals for 2018. Our mid-morning pediatrician, Dr. Gigi Chala from Children's Minnesota, is here to share some tips on how families can build New Year's resolutions together. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy I New love Year. this idea of getting the whole family involved because so often we focus on ourselves for New Year's. That's right. And it's a great idea to get the kids involved, too. Oh, it's a really important message, you know, for, for kids to hear that they should improve, but also that grown-ups are trying to improve and that you're trying to do something better in 2018. Matt, you have some ideas for uh, resolutions for <laughs> your children. I, I, goals, I think, for my <laughs> kids because, I, you know, I don't need to improve anything. No. Um, <laughs> Flawless. But, you know, simple things for my kids like potty training would be a nice thing to tackle. But also uh, teaching gratefulness. Christmas morning was an eye-opener for my two-year-old. He's a horrible monster and just tore through <laughs> everything without a, as much as a thank you or a recognition of what he was getting. So I think... Okay, but he's two, so that was all appropriate. <laughs> horrible monster. All you say toddler, I say... Uh, all of that was appropriate. Appropriate? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. So how do we do... We, we have to model to set a that for them, for a right? Two -year -old. Yeah, so you know, it really starts with the grown ups, right? The grown ups mm -hmm. have to say, I want to improve in 2018. Solicit information from the kids yeah. about how do you think that oh, I should improve. Oh, man, in I am not asking my children it how your I should improve. Oh, yes, oh. exactly. It'll be drink less, smoke less. Oh, you know, yeah. Wow. Really? Your phone not for me. You're me saying more. in general. Yeah, yes. talk with me, yeah. play with me more. It'll be all of those things. Oh, that's interesting. If you solicit that information, huh. cool. then they can, then you can, so you can offer them information yeah. about how they should improve. But when you're talking to a kid about making resolutions, it isn't that you're going to make the resolution for them. They have to choose what, to come from that. what they want to oh. work on and make it realistic. And I think, too, there's a little bit of understanding with age. Like you said, Henry is two years old. Right. There's a little bit of that. Um, you be more understanding. <laughs> what, 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 yeah. what is the age? Yeah, you know, I think elementary school is really the right okay. age to start saying, Six. how should we start to improve ourselves and, and try to do something better in 2018? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Are there ways to check in to kind of make sure? I know there's data on how most of us don't keep our resolutions. I always hate that when you hear that yeah. that stat because I don't. Th this is a process, mm -hmm. right? It's not like you've failed at it. Right. But how do you do work at that as a family? Well, I think first you have to set some realistic goals, like mm -hmm. you know, not that you're going to exercise every day or mm -hmm. something like that, but set you know, I'm going to exercise two or three times a week, and I want my kid to play go outside and play two or yeah, three times a week. Mm -hmm. um, but also then put it on a vision board. Put it up for everybody to see. Make those family goals like every Sunday we're going to play a board game together. Wow. Something That's like good. that so that everybody can see it and hold each other accountable. Very nice. I love this idea of getting the whole family involved. Dr. Gigi, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Have a relationship